Hello everyone and welcome, this is Adrian, thank you so much for joining me today and let's play some more Hearts of Iron 4 as a communist turkey. Okay, so right now we're we're still at War of the Axis, things are pretty stagnant here on the Balkan front. I have set up a new plan, so maybe we can invade Romania in just a few turns, I mean, not a few turns, in a few days. I'm getting some troops into position here. We got some expeditionary forces from... Um, Iran actually so they're sending over a lot of reinforcements we have about 111 divisions on the frontier here with with um Axis Romania right that's what this is and so we're we're about to invade most of our balances here for our resources uh in our equipment looks pretty good we do lack um medium or light tanks we do lack light tanks everything else is pretty good though so we'll be invading here I think in just a minute I'm waiting for this for for this commander to feel really confident about an invasion we just got most of our troops here on the border we just unlocked advanced artillery armor's good let's get some better recon companies let's go to our production let's fix up our improved artillery let's get advanced artillery here so we can improve on that our deficit for steel is pretty bad so let's go ahead and trade with the soviet union um i don't have much of a choice at this point Holy shit, to buy the amount we need. Wow. We what's our what's our uh yo yeah, we need a hundred, right? Yeah, so we need two hundred here. Oh my god, we lose so many civilian factories. Holy shit, dude. That's crazy. Right now we only have 30 available. So 30 available for, for these constructions here. These these are actually produced pretty quick. Military factories take about a month or so. So we don't do that bad. Um Let's see here. So we're doing okay on consumer goods, traded goods. Uh, we just fixed up our, our production deficit here. So hopefully we can see something happen. Uh, we're ready for this invasion. I don't know how it's going to go. But let's make it happen. Let's see if we can push it all across the line. From what I can see, things are going kind of okay here in the east. Not so great over here. I want to make sure that we don't get enveloped. I don't want I don't want this this little guy to you know to be the undoing of me. I think if we can push back over here to the uh, Soviet border hopefully we might be able to make something happen. Annex Tanatuva. Well, huh, interesting. Uh let's see. The assault has has succeeded over here. So we're 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 moving. We're making some progress. Assault has also succeeded over here. So we're making some progress there. So far the balance of power is all right. It's not great. Aviation effort we have low manpower half a million is actually not exactly low though so let's do close air support yep let's do close air support so far this invasion's gone pretty well soviet union annex is ten of tuva and ten of what <laughs> that's funny uh what's going on here so we've occupied a lot of this i'm not really sure how i wonder how that happened okay did we get cut off somewhere no yeah, I don't know how that happened. Did we... Did Romania capitulate? I think actually they did. I think Romania capitulated right now. So Romania has surrendered. So now we're just really going to push up here and try and encircle a lot of these men. Get them out of here. Push up here to the border with um, what looks to be northern Hungary. Yeah, that'd be nice to secure that. Okay, so we're making some gains. There's a lot of troops in this pocket right here. If we keep pushing, we might be able to, like, encircle some men. Let's see, from a macroeconomic perspective. Things are going well. 111 divisions. Low manpower. Holy shit, we've lost a lot of troops. 142,000 in that assault. The Germans have lost almost 1 million. Um, so they haven't been able to force us out of here. Jesus Christ, we lose a lot of men. We're reinforcing right now. Everything looks good. Um, we might need to go for service bar requirement pretty soon. Or, uh, all adults serve. Let's see, we're not doing that bad. There is some, what appears to be, supply issues. Uh, no, I want Yugoslavia to handle their own troops. Okay, so we're pushing up. We're, we're doing, we're doing some good work. We're making some progress is what it looks like here. We're pushing up. We're going to keep pushing, keep pushing. So far, my tank formations and such should be doing okay. These guys are almost ready with most of their equipment. They're training up as well. Reinforcement is my primary concern. The Republicans are holding out in the west. 
It's the Western Front. We're pushing up here. Making some progress. We're attacking into, Car into the Carpathian Mountains, so it's a problem. Um, let's see. The Yugoslavians actually have motorized troops. That's pretty nice. We're pushing up even more. Pushing up, pushing up. We're getting somewhere. We, we have some problems here with the pocket. Um, we gotta be, we got to be careful. So far, everything is progressing very nicely. We've, we've pushed up a lot into Romania here. I've lost 156,000. Yugoslavians have lost 200,000. Republicans have lost 200,000. The Germans have lost almost a million men. Japan has taken significant casualties too, as well as Legionary Romania. Okay, so Legionary Romania has surrendered for sure. We're actually making significant gains now. We're about to be on the border with Hungary. The Germans have sent in significant reinforcements on this front. It actually doesn't even tell me how many. There's, I guess, some U.S. divisions. I guess they might have reinforced Yugoslavia is what it looks like. I think so. Making some gains. Italy's still there, too. Italy's actually really cut off. Most of the United, uh, United Kingdom has taken Italy. So we're secure there on that front. Alrighty, we're about to envelop some of these men in a pocket here. This army is doing pretty good as far as organization and equipment. These guys are actually really well trained. I have some green divisions, but they're not that bad. They're learning pretty quick. We do have 436,000 manpower. So once it gets low, once it gets really low, we'll have to consider making some changes. The Germans have lost a lot. We're still making some pretty good pushes here. We're clearing out a lot of this. Um, making some good progress. It's kind of stalled out a little bit over here. We have a lot of garrison troops. Looks like right here in the middle, though, in the middle of their line, we're going to break through. Here is looking pretty positive. Here's the good as well. Let's get some... Let's get some more research. We're going to need some more industry fairly soon. Losing a lot of men. Close air support is doing well. Close air support and fighters are doing good. Light tanks are on the way. They're doing what they have to do. We lose a lot of infantry equipment every single day, which sucks. Uh, attrition's not bad. It's all right. Very, very interesting, though. Yeah, here it's stalled out just a little bit. Yeah, we, we need... Hopefully, I can get these armored troops going. The daily balance is pretty bad. 46.5 light tanks is what we lose every single day. We produce 13.5 a day, but if we lose 46 a day, we'll never get to positive numbers. We're not producing any support equipment at all? Holy shit. We moved all of it to fighters and, and looks like a close air support. Okay. Hopefully once we get some more military factories, we can, we can start producing some more support equipment and such. I don't need really any right now, but yeah, that deficit's getting pretty bad. How's inventory equipment three? We don't have any any surplus of um, yeah weapons three. We do have some resistance to occupation in Montania. That sucks. I don't really have time to focus on unrest right now though, so we'll have to hold off on that for just a minute. We're still making some gains. Lost a lot of men, a shit ton of men. Let's go for some better support battalions. Let's go for maintenance companies. I do need my tanks to be able to be repaired and be supplied. Aluminum and rubber, we're lacking a lot of oil as well. We need oil. Um, Yugoslavia, Turkish Socialist Republic. Republic and Spain has actually been the one to mostly, mostly keep up with the war participation. I've done a lot though. Occupation and casualties, yeah. 1.12 million casualties for the Germans. The Germans are vastly holding up this war effort is what it looks like. Uh, we're losing a shit ton of men. Yeah, we've lost 232,000 already. Turkish Socialist Republic looks pretty awesome. Let's take a quick look around the place. The Republicans are pushing up quite well over here. We're about to encircle a lot of men in this area. These are mountains. We're not going to make a lot of progress there. We're about to push up into this little, this little pocket. The Germans are going to be cut off. Oh shit, we've completely encircled all of these troops. It actually looks like the USSR has given these guys military access, which is a shame. I kind of wish they didn't do that. War with Japan? Oh my god, I think the USSR might join in on this conflict, guys. They're about to be done with their national focus. War with Japan. 
Holy shit. The British and the U.S. have come over here. And we've secured a lot of this. Wow. Kick ass. So the allies are helping us out. We're about to encircle a lot of this here. These guys are going to be cut off and, and probably annihilated pretty soon. What's their support effort? Let's see. Rocket effort. I guess destroyers. We can do that. Soviet Union declared war on Japan. Volunteer forces. We're losing those. Yeah, we're losing those divisions. Okay, it looks like the, uh, yep, the Soviet Union has now declared war on the Axis. Thank God. We need their help. USSR breaks the Molotov of the Trump Pact. Yep. We're still pushing up in here. Equipment production is pretty good. We need a lot of resources, but we're doing okay for now. We need a lot of inventory equipment. We're doing all right, though. We do need a lot of advanced artillery. We're doing okay as well. Production and manpower is okay-ish, sort of. 1.18 million casualties for the Germans. We have significant allied troops here on our, on our land. Soviet Union has pushed up in here. We're about to encircle thousands and thousands of German troops in this area. They're literally all going to be encircled right now. There is just millions of allied and my faction's troops here. There's millions right here. 59 U, um, UK divisions, 70 here, 50 American divisions here. Holy shit. We've completely conquered all this in Romania. We've completely taken it all. Probably have some attritional problems. It's pretty bad, yeah. We've completely circled it all. Yeah, we've encircled everybody. Let's get some... Can I find any armor divisions in the immediate area? No, these are all infantry. Let's see. Do I have any armor? Where's my armor? We need to cut these guys off right here. This little pocket. Once we get that cut off, we'll be fine. Let's see. Um, what's going on here? Performance issues. Yeah, because there's a lot going on. I can understand that. So how many divisions are trapped in here? As far as enemy divisions, it's probably about 30 or 40 that are trapped in this little pocket. It doesn't seem immediately apparent that I can cut them off. Why the German Reich have troops that look like French soldiers? Oh, those are Vichy French soldiers. That's right. Okay, so we've completely pushed them back. This is the last offensive push that we're making for now. And then we can get a front line and start invading German territory. Take Slovakia, go for Warsaw, take a lot of Poland. Okay, so looks like these guys want some non-aggression packs. That's fine. We've lost 267,000 men. The Germans have lost 1.25 million. Light tank deficits getting better. Fighters and close air support is also getting better. Engineer companies, three. Let's go for field hospitals, three. Republican Spain still has more participation than I do, which is kind of a shame. They're actually making pretty good gains here in France. Holy shit. We're still trying to secure most of this territory. We are encircling a lot of their men. It's kind of hard to see what's going on, though, I will admit. But it looks like we're going to push up to our objectives and we're going to secure what, what I'm looking for. Some armor divisions here. UK has taken some territory. 64% attrition because there's just so many men here on this front. Oh my god. That is incredible, man. The Soviet Union has about 160 divisions here on their front with the Germans. Can we just annihilate some of these guys? Come on, I gotta get rid of these dudes. These guys are highly entrenched. 
We're not making that many gains. Losing a lot of men. Okay, so there seems to be about 200 divisions or so that belong to the UK. About 150 or so for what looks to be the US. Hmm. I kind of want to cancel military access because they're, you know, I'm taking a lot of attrition here. Vichy France has capitulated again. Okay. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. Let's get rid of these troops. I don't want these guys here. I really can't afford to have these troops here. Let's get rid of the U.S. troops as well. Oh, they don't even have military access. Never mind. Now get the hell out of here, dude. I don't want your troops here. We got Recon Company 3. Let's go for Logistics 3. Or Logistics 2, I think. The UK will hopefully leave. The US is still here. The Soviet Union has also helped me out in this fight. Yeah, the US is around here. They actually don't even have military access. They might be sending volunteers. I have 288,000 men. What's going on over here? Holy shit, dude. There's just so many men here. Advanced fire bases. Let's go for shock and awe. Low manpower, resistance to occupation. Hungary is over here. They're being taken back by the Germans. Or no, by the UK. They're being secured. We're about to finish our objectives here. We're about to clear out the last of this German pocket. From what I can see, we're doing very good work. I'm about to clear that out. I'm about to clear this out. There's a lot of men here. Let's see if I can just get just dogpile here. How does that battle go? Looks like um, 46 combat with here, 82 here. These divisions are pretty beat up. We're making some progress, not a lot, but some. We're about to encircle this entire this entire force right here. About to encircle. We completely annihilated them. taking Pluge. And the Ger or it looks like the Allies are pushing up into what looks to be Polish territory. We're about to encircle these men. They're completely encircled. And that's the end of that. Let's move some troops here. And then that'll be the end of our offensive operations for just a minute. Let's overrun these troops. This is like Stalingrad proportions. Oh my god. I mean, we're, we're talking, you know, at Stalingrad, we're talking about like a half million men being surrounded and overrun oh my god they just lost so many men vichy japan has lost a lot romania german reich um i've lost about three hundred thousand. let's go ahead and cancel all orders let's make a front line i mean i, I guess like something like this you know, okay, let's get a front line and then let's get some offensive operations. Can we do something like this? Push into like lower Austria. 
Let's do that. Let's move up some aircraft. Let's move up some aircraft into... Probably, yeah. Here's gonna be good. Let's do fighters. Let's do like 500 of each, I guess. Pulling from the reserves. Let's do 500 close air support. And then they don't have any missions. That's right. So let's pull into... I want to say Czechoslovakia. We'll see how that goes. Manpower is going down for sure. Uh, we need a lot of artillery, infantry equipment, support equipment. There's some unrest, which is okay-ish. We're just building infrastructure now, so let's go ahead and work on work on some of this here. Holy shit, a lot of things to be repaired. Okay, so we're, we're going into position to invade what looks to be a lot of Germany. There's, there's millions of men on this border right now, to be honest. Um, let's see. Germany's days are numbered from here on out. Soviets have not really focused over here. They've actually been over here taking out Japan. So. So these troops are getting into position and then they're preparing, right? Okay. Republicans have made really good progress. Holy shit. I am really impressed. That's amazing that they've been able to do this. That's incredible. Looks like this invasion is really ready to go. There's like 300 or so allied divisions right here. The UK, the US. Inferior enemy. Some divisions are not in position yet. I think we will be fine to launch this invasion. So we're going to attack all across the front. We're going to make amazing gains is what it looks like. Let's see. How's my war participation? Looks like the Republicans have taken the vast majority of the war participation here. Occupation, bombing, and casualties. Holy shit. They might be running out of manpower or something, I imagine, pretty soon. Who knows, though? Service by requirement, export focus, total mobilization. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay, we're making massive gains on this front. We're pushing into Austria for sure. We're pushing into Eastern Poland. We're about to clear out what looks to be most of Slovakia. We do have some uh, enemy air superiority in, in Czechoslovakia and the Northern Balkans. Also, also we have low supplies. Um, how's our equipment? We need support equipment, we need light tanks, fighters, close air support. Other than that, though, we're pretty good on mostly everything. Need more factories, more factories. We're going to repair a lot of this. We've made a lot of progress here. There's kind of like some border gore going on, though, but that's all right. That's not that big of a deal. Um, let's see. We should be finishing this up fairly soon. Making excellent gains. I think Germany is going to be down and out for the count before 1945. I mean, for God's sakes. German Reich. We need to defeat German Reich, Italy, and Japan. Italy has not capitulated yet. Huh? Japan also is going to be a problem. Hmm. That's right. Japan. We're not going to be able to defeat Japan. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Oh my god, look at that. That's just crazy, dude. There are just so many men here. Incredible. Incredible gains. We're going for, looks like Oberbayam right here. Or that's that's uh, Munich. Never mind, Munchen. Uh, Prague is going to fall. Amsterdam is going to fall. Berlin is within our sights. My god, man. 
We have less than a quarter of a million now. A quarter of a million men. We have 877,000 men in the army. Slovakia has capitulated. Yep, they have. Looks like this is the Soviet Union that's making a majority of the push here. Nationalist China seems to have sent some people over. Me maintenance company, three. That's beautiful. Let's work on some industrial tech. My god, we've made amazing gains in just a few episodes. Holy shit, dude. I actually didn't even know that we'd be able to hold off the Germans like this, to be honest. That's amazing. You know, things must just be going our way. The Republicans have made amazing gains. They have 125 divisions in the field. Jesus Christ. They're going for Berlin right now. They're seriously, like, just about to get there. There's a lot of American divisions over here, too. This is Republican Spain. Look at that. Oh, my God. Incredible gains. Incredible. I've lost 320,000 men. Republicans have lost more than me. Alright, so I wonder who's going to take Warsaw. That's a good question, huh? Dude, there's just so many men here. The Germans have nothing against us now. They don't even have the divisions to be able to hold this off. Let's go on speed 5, see, see how things progress. It looks like, for the most part, we've secured our offensive line. We've... I think we just... Uh, yeah, we just reached Warsaw's line. Okay. Let's do... Let's do a new offensive line, and let's go for Berlin. Yep. Alrighty. We'll see how that goes within the next episode, guys. I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching.